I am not a stupid woman. I'm smart, I'm compassionate, I'm resourceful, I'm creative, I'm empathetic, and I put my trust in the wrong person. It can happen to anyone. Stephanie Dobbs once worked for an Ottawa City well, councillor, a councillor which the city's integrity commissioner found sexually harassed her and at least four other female employees. But that councillor is still in a job, and Ottawa residents are hanging bras on trees in protest. You have women wanting to get into uh, like public service, and it's either it could be a boys' club or uh, they're just purposely being used as pawns in certain ways. That's not how we should have our women. Dobbs' complaint was supported by Ottawa's Integrity Commissioner, who recommended Councillor Rick Chirelli be docked pay for 450 days, the maximum punishment possible. Among the complaints in the Commissioner's report, that Chirelli commented on staff members' bodies in inappropriate ways, told sexually explicit stories at work, and asked women to go brawless, the last of which sparked the bra-hanging protest. I have been called petty, vindictive, a liar, a political pawn, accused of hiding behind anonymity, and then once I went public with the Integrity Commissioner's report, I was apparently seeking attention. Chirelli has denied wrongdoing while claiming the Integrity Commissioner doesn't have jurisdiction to punish him. That's precisely why these Ottawans are demanding the passage of Ontario's Bill 10, which would allow cities to remove councillors found to have harassed or attacked employees. The only reason that I can see to not support it is because you're afraid of it being used on you or a similar bill coming forward that you may be uh, vulnerable to. Um, I think this is one of the ways in which we control um, and limit who gets to participate in politics. Khadija El Hilali is a former Rideau Hall employee who quit in 2020 alleging racist harassment. She says Canada has a long history of excluding certain people from political political life and harassment of women is yet another facet of that. I think we're slowly starting to shift, but I think there's a lot of work ahead. Um, and I think that we all have to contribute something to that work um, in order for it to, to fall into place. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.